I don't have so much a question but a comment. I've actually been out to this site twice. Um, not only is it very dry, it's extremely hot. Um, there's no concrete, it's actually dust, this fine, silty dust that wafts into the air at the slightest draft of wind. And it gets pretty windy. It's surrounded by kiabi bushes that have thorns that are this big, about one to two inches in length, spaced on each branch about two to three inches apart from each other. So if you cut down all of these bushes, say that that's the next step, you have no shade, right? Even if you erect a canopy, there will be no shade outside of that canopy. On top of the fact that this place is isolated, now the concern with the community might be of your own safety. As an advocate, the concern for me is for the safety of these extreme poor. Not all of them are violent. In fact, the vast majority are very peaceful and just struggling. They suffer from a host of uh, mental illnesses, but there's only 25% that actually suffer from mental illness. The vast majority are just struggling to get by. This plan is not Pono. On top of that, there are some serious concerns about the toxicity in this area that the city has not done its due diligence to research and are so quick to relegate the extreme poor after criminalizing them that you were successful in doing as an excuse to say, now we have somewhere to put them. Well, that's internment. And you cannot, please, I beg you, as a local person, my family has been here four generations. I grew up in privilege. Thankfully, my grandparents and my parents taught me the difference between right and wrong, and I'm asking you, my fellow local citizens, do not support this plan. It is the furthest thing from Pono. And this city council, city group, has not done its homework. I have seen plans put together by ninth graders that are better, better than this. And the managing director herself said it's the only proposal that's actually been developed by the city. Why has all of the other plans for homeless encampments worked? Because, she said herself, they've been put together by homeless people, not the city that mandated them to go here. Thank you, Catherine.